um, bit of class time to work on that. So it is now your final draft is your homework. My name is Ashley Colleen. I work at Carson Middle School. I am a seventh grade science teacher and I have been teaching for two years and they've been some of the most challenging but rewarding years of my life. I teach because I really enjoy sharing my love of science with others. Um, in college, I got a lot of different opportunities to teach adults and students marine sciences and environmental sciences and just seeing their faces light up with excitement when they're learning about something new. What I enjoy most about teaching is opening the students' eyes to things around them. Science is everywhere. I can look out my window and they see science. And a lot of the time, they don't realize. They're like, oh, that's why this happens to me. Or, oh, that's why it, whatever was going on outside. And I think it's really great because they do science every time they walk outside or every time they take a breath. But I'm teaching them why that's happening. So they're able to make those connections. And a lot of them, they're having a really hard time at home every now and then. And I just have really, they're, they blow my mind how strong they are because they have all this stuff going on at home. Things that sometimes I can't even imagine, but they come to school, they get the things done, and they do the job of the students so flawlessly. So a lot of the time I'm at awe in these students when they're telling me these things. And I just think it's incredible how hard they work and how they're able to kind of put things behind them and set stuff aside so they can get the job done and do what they need to to be successful in the classroom. Sometimes we feel beaten down and we've had a really hard day and everything feels like it's working against us, whether it's the copy machine or students or we feel like another thing has been piled on our list. But when you have those moments, I always have to hold on to those positive moments. Just try to find one thing positive that happened to you, whether it be a kid smiled at you. Sometimes that's all you need just to be like, okay, I reached one kid today. It feels like the world is coming down, but that one kid smiled. So I know at least I had a positive impact with that one kid. It's just holding on to the small positive things that happen each and every day.